actually, as I mentioned, is a multi-platform deployment. The game is not only able to run at different aspect ratios and at different resolutions, but it's also able to be run multi-platform. I can control this via the computer just as well as mobile. Second is an integrated cooperation between the designer or artist and the coder. Our code is going to be very flexible and the design process non-linear. If we feel that something is not working as we'd like it to be, we can go into the code or a visual representation of it and the designer can tweak the settings with the code adjusting to the design not dictating what the design should be through hard-coded settings. We're going to be covering asset importation, the design of the user experience, which does not necessarily have to include the UI, the level design and the positioning of your models, Different GUI systems, which is a, a rather interesting development in Unity right now with a new system called UGUI coming out. Particle systems and interaction with real-world objects and also optimization of their shaders and behavior. And last but definitely not least, we're going to be scripting this entire thing together. And don't be intimidated that there are six scripts up here. Most of these are kept as small as possible in order to promote readability. Last but not least, we're not only going to be compiling this for the desktop, but for mobile devices as well. I'm going to teach you how to choose the proper settings on how to compile for Xcode to be deployed on multiple devices and how to troubleshoot your device when it's already running on the platform. Now, while our code will also be compatible with the Android platform, we will focus ourselves solely on iOS. Because of the dynamic and flexible structure of our design, however, our game will accommodate all of the screen aspects of current and future releases of mobile hardware with different aspect ratios and resolutions. Now there is an interesting peculiarity to this course which branches out in two interesting conclusions. First, this is going to be rather different from the other tutorials that we have made. Instead of abstract examples of using a certain feature, this is going to be a very holistic course we're going to go step by step and cover a lot of the aspects that previously we have covered in one tutorial. Now, this does not mean that this is going to be redundant from the previous tutorials, and I still encourage you to watch them afterward or even watch them prior to this course. However, they are no prerequisite. The second part of the peculiarity is that we're actually going to be taking this up a notch. This game is part of a real-world example of an app. That's right, we are going to be coding a very small part with alternative textures of a real-world game that my company has created called Cardography. So, Cardography is an e-card app and it's uh, more sophisticated than the app we're creating and involves uh, some uh, hard algorithms and some server-side back-end programming. Uh, however, the point of this is, is that you might have some hesitations or intimidations of becoming a developer for the App Store, and this is meant to alleviate some of those concerns. And by creating this game step by step, hopefully I'll be able to show you that from the very beginning up to the publishing, the barrier is not that high to develop an app of your own. Aside from a non-mandatory in-app purchase, Cartography itself is free 
and you are definitely encouraged to download it just to see what's possible from the foundation that we're building. 